this feels like the end. This is the end Yeah, take for a friend This is the end My only friend The end Of our elaborate plans The end Of everything that stands The end No safety I never look into your eyes again Then he Paid a visit to his brother and then he He walked on down the hall and And he looked inside Father, yes son I want to kill you Mother What the hell? I want to
always. Who the hell are you? Alright man, chill. Who the fuck are you? And hey, he's got a family, a kid. Oh yeah? Well I just lost mine a minute ago. That's it, nobody. Everyone is gone, nobody is left, alright? Ever since that fucking thing came into existence, this all started happening. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, protector of the world? It bullshit! He killed my son! You think I wanted to do that? No, he wanted it. Hey Christ, he begged for it. You think that alien piece of shit did that to him? No, you know who did this? It was Godzilla. He infected me, he infected him, he infected the whole fucking planet. You, don't you remember me? It's Russell. And like the kid said, I mean, I mean, you've met my family before, right? Well, I know that doesn't really matter right now. It does. So you've got a family, huh? And you've got a little Russell. You, you didn't have to shoot him in the head, did you? You know, Eric, I could not have cared more about my family than you ever did with James. I mean, I can't even remember the last time that we went training with those dipsticks back at boot camp. Stop. Stop this emotional thing. Are your little stories? You're trying to reel me in? No. Don't act like you're a nice guy because you're not. What the fuck do you want me to say? I don't know how to react to this kind of situation. Get out. You cannot stay here. You need to leave right now. Just please... Please come with us. Says who? I see, uh, seniors came by, didn't they? Oh yeah, hey Bruce. Yeah, just some class clowns. 
But hey, you know, what can you do? At least the kids are having fun. Oh, anyway, Bruce, it's been a while. How's the old ball and chain at home? She's, she's fine. Oh, that's great, man. Hey, so anyway, the other day, one of my regulars, he was passing through town, and he was telling me about some purple shit. I, I, I don't know, man, but poor bastard. Killed his girlfriend. That's why I had to ask. I'm just glad the both of you is safe. You, uh, you think, you think they're coming back? Bruce, come on. You know I get a lot of people coming and going through here. So listen, my buddy Tony swears on his life that he saw Marvin the frickin' Martian the other night at some prison down south. Now, I wouldn't trust the kid to make a cannoli to save his life, but with this, I trust him. He also mentioned something about some wacko doctor down there. You remember that old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Let's just say, with this new play in town, I've been eating two apples a day. <sighs> what do I know, Bruce? Sometimes I just think about how different my life would have been if I just stayed in Boston. <laughs> Are you meeting someone? A girl? No, my wife would kill me. That kid that was with me, Bruce, went through a troubling loss, just like some of those people down there. A place like this, it's got him back up. I'm trying to forget that shit, you know? Well, I'm not one of those people, alright? I don't drown myself in music to get rid of my problems. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say, I'm, I'm glad you're here, man. Incredibly got out of that hospital in time. I, I really don't know. How close did they discharge you before that thing struck? Two hours. Wow. Weren't they scrambling? They left your name on some other bastard that got killed. Yeah. Just relax. Okay, how about this? Stay with us for a little while, sleep, eat. I mean, hell, we got a big meal tonight. We got a spare guest room. You can be bunk mates with Bruce. Come on, it'll be like the three amigos again. Just like you, me, and Jeff. You take me to a club full of press people singing away the nooses around their necks like I'm supposed to feel like I'm at home. Hey listen to me, am I understanding this correctly? Is that what you want? You, you want me to eat, sleep, play, shoot the shit with your family like I'm some dozer? Yeah.
Oh, 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 I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Kessler, you're growing. And if you tried our meals down by my planet, you'd be, uh, whew, you'd be colossally bigger in front of your men. Hey, uh, hey, I, I only see one, oh, two! All, all right, okay. Hey, I like that. I like that we met on this night, and the deal worked out fine. Oh, and here's a, a what we uh, promised. I can't thank you enough, Doctor. I mean, I can't keep apologizing for my past actions, but this helps us. You've done a lot for me and my colony. Seventy nine point thirty six tons. Eighty was the deal. Give it up now, or your colony ends here tonight. It seems you don't understand. We need this material to seal off the containment of the beast. If the containment isn't perfected, transportation for him would be unstable. I, I, I understand. You need to get this thing off your planet. The shields on your spacecraft are damaged. The destruction of Metagodzilla allows that to occur. <laughs> your firepower isn't of the essence anymore. And if this relationship to get Godzilla off the planet becomes shackled, your race will have to pay the price. And I don't think your display of defiance should be at risk for that. That I wasn't sure before the whole alien occupation, invasion, war, whatever it really was. Um, three, no, no, two, two monsters Godzilla fought. Yeah, Mechagodzilla and Gigan, right? I think that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Godzilla took out both of them. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> one straight fire shot, and bam, and the other guy, the big fellow with the hooks his hands. I mean. Listen, I, I don't know how he did it, but he guillotined the poor fella out back a few years ago, matter of fact. <laughs> you know, what a blessing it is to have Godzilla on this planet. I mean, he's taking out these colossal creatures like that one, uh, what's his name, uh, Anguirus? And, uh, Gamora? Eh? You know, and, and us, I don't know if we'd be alive without him, am I right? Oh, yeah. You know, Eric, we've all been through a lot. Rest in peace, Russell's lost son. Yeah, it was... Yeah, we... We just try to get by it. But Godzilla's been there every step of the way. Like a guardian angel. Hey! Bring that back! Uh, I've got it. Uh... Why are you trying to change the conversation, Eric? Don't want to hear Russ talk about his own son? 
Yeah. We're gonna act like the family that's gonna ignore that the man in this house shot and killed his own son. And not ask about it. Not bother you about it. Because, I mean, Eric, you've suffered the most at this table. Right? We have no idea what you're feeling because we're loud, obnoxious people. You know, you... You're going to be the one to kill Godzilla. You know, every, everything revolves around you. And maybe it's time that the world sees that. That it's all about you. shoving me into this wall so that I'd do it faster. Your friend? That sociopath with no shred of remorse? He's only gonna be the second person to not care if I do something to myself because everybody in my life is gone. And I'm not even gonna be with my son when I'm lying on that pit of hell. Just laying in darkness. Just blackness. You're making yourself look vulnerable. It's because it's the last thing you can do in making us feel empathetic towards you. But you've got to realize, I don't care the slightest. I bet your Rachel would care, right? Oh, yeah. That just got you, didn't it? Yeah, your friend's got a big mouth, man. <laughs> hey, you want to hear a funny story? Listen, so, I was recently diagnosed with stage 4 skin cancer. Melanoma, as they call it. That's, that's good, right? I mean, a few more months of me and you won't have to hear from me ever again. Shut up. I've seen you always defend Godzilla. You push people to side with them on taking down Gamora and Jiger, but... What's with this vendetta you have against him now? Well, something... Something's recently struck my head. That Godzilla... He doesn't really care about us. He doesn't even know we exist, alright? He just roams around thinking he's some defender of the world. He thinks he's some kind of force of nature. We all know that's bullshit. He's given children out there radiation poisoning. And he's done more damage to the world than anything from space. All it is is trouble. something now, or else, he ain't coming. Yeah, I'll, I'll think of something. Uh, 
I saw this stuff earlier. I, I didn't know where, where you guys are. You doing some kind of camping trip? Uh, yeah, over a Wind River Reservation. You, you you've been there before. Well, me and the whole family. We're, we're going to take a two two and, and a half day trip. It, it's about Godzilla. Uh, we're going to kill Godzilla. It's bullshit. Last night at the diner table, I had to sit down for two straight hours and hear you kiss up to everything he's done. Wait. I know I've said that, but maybe, just just maybe you're right. Why do people have to keep dying in order for him to save the world? Overnight, you've, you've made me realize that, Eric. I don't think I did. And you, you want to hear another funny story? A man gave this bullet to my son, and he said to... Use this bullet for the last extraterrestrial to roam this earth. Not Godzilla, though. Yeah, that's the story they want to use. That it, that it wasn't Godzilla. It's never him. He's the savior. You know, I think we should start paying attention to the good guys. And I have 49 days to live. Because of this. And with six dollars and 21 cents... You expect me to live the last days of my life out here? No, I will live us far away from Godzilla. Not Godzilla, from a bomb that's ticking. Ticking until the heart drops and all radiation eats out the lives of many. Eric, I'm gonna... I'm going to let you in on some shit from my personal life. Last night, I had to sit down in front of my family and lie for the 287th time that my son died to one of those creatures Godzilla killed a while back. But I'm looking at you right now, and I'm going to tell you. I wish things could have been different, could have went a certain way, but... Godzilla, that bastard, he took my nine-year-old boy. And I've had to live with that lie for years because my family, for some reason, is comforted by the idea that Godzilla is this flawless deity, this guardian angel. But he's not. We both know that. That's bullshit. I guess this thing me and Bruce have here is some vengeance game set up to visit the man who's been resurrecting Godzilla ever since his brawl with Gigan. Be sent out as a weapon for many more beasts on this earth. Now I'm offering you a window of opportunity for you for me, for all of us to get away from this bullshit. 8K right now on the table. We can go to the Great Plains, Scotland. Hell, we could go to Miami Beach, Bristling Palms. You get the point, though. We gotta get as far away from this hellhole as possible. Now, the question is, with your recon expertise, are you gonna help us with this operation? Or are you gonna pussyfoot around in this cold, suicidal fear that you've been in for the last year and rot alone. I mean, can't go wrong with the Scotland planes, huh? All right. All right. Let's do this.
don't talk much, do you? Well, what is there to talk about? Uh, well, I don't know. Just, um, I don't know. What, what did you do before all this soldier stuff? Well, um, me and my boy, I remember we used to have a little crib over at West Glacier, Montana, and uh, we, we liked it because it, it, it was quiet, but um, I feel like, I honestly feel like the quiet is what's hurting me now. Well, trust me. You're gonna get a lot of noise to where we're going right now. Practice a few hits here? I know how to fire a gun. Oh, do you? Well, your mannerisms tell me otherwise. Oh, I can tell by the face when someone doesn't know how to take a shot. Oh, really? What is it? The, the eyes? The, the guy with the big mouth? You're worried. That's how I can tell. Well, that's why you're the buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs>
Piece of scrap over there, right? Uh, I mean, it's a nice car. I wouldn't want to see that baby scrapped, you know? Uh, let him. This is my dad's old piece of junk, anyways. Every, every time I wrecked it, I had to clean that son of a bitch. You do your old man like that? No, oh, yeah. Had to fight a lot of old mans just to get Rachel. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, really? Who taught you how to wrangle the old mans? <laughs> this guy. Bullshit! Oh, come <laughs> on. You you only got the finishing swinging because of me. <laughs> I'm speaking to you to sensei like that. I don't think I've ever won a fist fight before. Did you seriously just admit that? Not not even one. Not one. Well, I hate to break it to you, but this sounds like you're a bitch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. We rip each other's throats too damn much, but somehow. It all gets better. Mm, I agree with that statement 50%. Because Eric's here. Hey, you douchebag! <laughs> God knows where our people are. Your son, your girlfriend, my son, one by one they disappear, then mutation thrives, then that's when the monsters rise up and we're left to be the pests. Yeah, someone up there said their time is up and now... Now nature's doing its best to replace us. You really believe that? No. But what I do believe is... Is that you're riddled with cancer and... You're just a ticking time bomb. And you... You're suicidal. You're just the same way. Taking away every day. And me, I detonate each day. That's just, that's how I live. I stopped living after the war. Only thing they brought is death. Oh, don't you worry. Things are gonna change for us big time tomorrow. You know, from here on out, our lives will be completely redefined. I'm gonna kill the one who murdered my son. I'm gonna go in there, take the shot, dip out, and, well, the Monster King reigns supreme. Julia. Uh, until we uh, sh shut down Godzilla. We shut down Godzilla. Was that just part of the plan, or were you just gonna dip out? No, 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 that's, that's just part of the plan. Yeah, don't you get it? Or do we have to repeat ourselves, dipshit? We go in, pop a few caps in Kessler, we 187 Godzilla, and book it. That too tough for you? Russ, I'd like you to explain the plan again. But I don't want to hear it from this man. 
Uh, okay, so once we get up tomorrow, we will cross the lake into the tree line that's on the left side of the base. And we get in since Godzilla's kept in that lab dome across the courtyard, place the explosive while being unnoticed. We also put one on the control tower, shut down all the power going through the generator so it cuts off the oxygen supply. Get you on one of the trees and, you know, you take your shot on Kessler once he comes out of the explosion. And, you know, that's, that's about it. Uh, what, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tell me, what are we doing? But, but like, like, like Bruce said, we just, we just pop a few cats. No, no, you son of a bitch! What are we actually doing? Put down the gun, Eric. What did you whoa, say? Whoa, 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 whoa! Just, just tell me what you want to know. I don't want to know Jack. All right. I just want to know what kind of sham you put me in, kid. Eric, you're, you're still going to get your money. Russ, if you don't tell me what we're doing right now, you're going to have to make your friend here carry your brains up to your wife's front porch. Okay, okay, okay. We go in and kill Kessler. Forget Godzilla. It's it's staying there. But but you get your money, and you're no, gone. No, 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 no. No, you said we're going to kill Godzilla. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bruce, help me with this vermin. Get off me! Get off! Bruce, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Put this on. Hey, why, 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 are you, why are you doing this? Bruce, what are you doing? Fuck. What are you doing, man? Come on. Eric Finn. What are we going to do with you? When I get out of this, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> nah, nah, I don't think that's going to happen. But anyways, tonight we found out you're a murdering psychopath, actually. I, I got the gist of that whenever you shot your fucking son. Who are you? I'm no different than you. Yeah, that'll be the day. You know, Eric, I was gonna call county police on you, but... You know, I realized you got max 10, 20 days to live, so... Once we get our job done, we, uh... We'll come back, stick you in the back of the truck, and, uh... Give you a roadside funeral, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, sleep tight.
him back in his place. I mean, what else does he have left to lose? I'll be doing him a favor at least. Come on. What? I finished the gun you were talking about. Oh, I heard everything. Don't think I'm against you now. We just gotta find the time and place to make this work. you to tell me if you've seen a blonde man in a blue coat brown pants around here uh, I um I uh, uh okay 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 uh, I have uh, I know I know he is uh, and I can take you to him okay just just follow me come on Russell Volkert, for this to go more easy on you, I need you to place your current weapon on the log next to you and stand up. Now what I want you to do is take 10 steps forward, and don't you pull any funny shit. What? Alright boys, search the place. What? Liar. This whole fucking time you lied to me. And you were gonna kill me. You were gonna get your money. And you wanted Godzilla to be kept alive. I wanted to kill the bastard who murdered my son. K Kessler? Yep. This is our guy. Russell Volker. I could give a damn about Godzilla. I only want tranquility for me and for my family. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to get on your knees. Wait, 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 wait! <sighs> He's got a family. They don't need this, please. Don't kill him. Are you asking me for a favor? We've got duties to take care of. And him? Eh, he's one of them. Duties? Yep. And this guy knew we were coming. Oh. You're Kessler's man. Do we really have to spell it out for you? You interfered with the big man, and the big man don't like reprisals. You rolled your own dice. Vengeance won't get you far in this world. I don't think this was a good time to return, Russ. Nothing? Because <laughs> it makes my job a lot easier. How far is this going to get you? Kill me. My son. Him. Him? We respect him. 
I mean, him leading us to you could spare him. Listen, you were, um, trying to sabotage our operation, and, uh, I think your words are running out, buddy. Wait, 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 wait! This man, he, he helped me. Shut the fuck up, Eric. I lied to you. I was gonna kill you. Because you're not you at this moment. People ask, why you do this? It's all for the greater good, right? That's what they always say. But me, nah, I like this. And besides, watching lead rip through a man's head don't ever get old. No, 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 stop, stop, get off of me. Hey, um, you think we should ask them what they know? I mean, they're friends with, um, yeah, and the whole ordeal with Cass and his son, uh, it might be out there publicly. Could get us in big trouble. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Alright, what you know about him? You all a team? Cause I didn't see a lot of getting along. There is no team. Russ lied to me. You did the right thing. And this man? Well, this man here, he was promised $4,000. Same as me. To help Russ with a task. Okay, let's see. Uh, you. He, uh, he spoke for us. Uh, same, same thing as him. He... He, he lied to us. We, we didn't know about the sun thing. All right. We believe you. Although, we do have to take you in, bring you to the big man, clean you out, then take care of the job after that. Good to meet you. I understand your associate was eliminated by these men, correct? I hope you can understand where I'm coming from in this ordeal with Russ, and what our goals are at this facility. What do you do here? Guess we gotta clean them out. There is no harm in explaining ourselves. Because it seems like some people are quite ignorant to what I do here. I was led to believe you guys are keeping Godzilla alive, right? Here we deal with Godzilla. Its body has been releasing highly toxic levels of radioactive energy. With our equipment, we are able to bend the king of the monster's knees. We have him contained. Mm. Yeah, well, the man they murdered wasn't a friend, alright? 
he set me up and I'm not quite sure for what. But, you know, maybe we could work something out here. Uh, maybe, maybe we can get me in a vehicle and I'll be on my way. Eric, we have a lot to discuss. Uh, may we take you two in? Ah, good. Sounds splendid. Just follow my men. Who are those guys who went in? They were close to some guy the boss had history with, but that's in the past. Besides, his brains are splattered across facilities long. him down after a conflict with Gaigan. We've secured him ever since. A lot of progress has been made. His radioactive energy is paving the ways and weapons technology. Is it dead? Essentially. We have him under hypersleep. Basically the slowing down of all biological functions. And very soon we won't need to worry about keeping him in that state. Our satellites detected a singularity or what you call a black hole. We plan to transport it there, which will dispose of Godzilla in a far quicker and more safe procedure. Excuse me, my apologies. I have a meeting. These men will secure you here. These two won't be a problem if they try anything. Listen, I don't know what your plan here is, but I'm done, okay? After this, I'm leaving. I'm gonna try to find some money because I bet you and Russ fabricated that as well. There was money. He was gonna give it to you. I suggest you choose your words more carefully. Moving on. Patience isn't only a virtue, but a key in this process. Or I will go back into the pens and butcher your race myself. That won't be necessary, because transportation is ready. Finish up with those men, because Godzilla doesn't have much time left. I decide when we're ready. What's the rush? <laughs> Listen, I know how you feel about me right now, but just know if if I didn't say what I said out there, you wouldn't be here. It was self-defense, okay? Once we're done here, we can either walk away from this like free men, or you put that bullet in him right now, and that'll be the end of us. What? Did he also kill your son? You're not getting away with this. Eric, would you come with me, please?
I'm not a passionate killer. I just kill those who interfere with my line of work. I understand. You were given a job. Now it's your responsibility to carry it out. This is my responsibility. With the press of a button, chaos won't be contained. Currently Godzilla has a laceration on the neck. Now, this makes our job a lot easier because now it lacks the ability to release an atomic breath. If it did try, it would divert and penetrate through its heart, slicing it open. It's dying. Seems that way. These creatures have been collected throughout the years after their disastrous brawls with Godzilla. I keep communicating to my foreign associates that once Godzilla goes, they all go. All of this has to end. Their weight on the world is becoming unbearable. I'm glad you understand what I do, Eric. However, your companion doesn't seem to share your train of thought. Your friend is a terrible liar. Although, I do appreciate your honesty with your relation to Mr. Volkert. But saving that man out there? Why? I'd eliminate him if I were you. I typically don't keep liars by my side. Well, people like him, you know, they, they just need a little guidance in life. I respect that. Of course, with Mr. Volkert's deception, your emotional stability certainly has been damaged to a degree, correct? Yeah, pretty much. I was promised $8,000 to help with the job. In turn, he was going to let me live the last few days of my life away from... Areas infested with monsters. Once interrogations are over, we can certainly provide you the promised income and the means to get you wherever you desire. Hmm. I would certainly appreciate an offer like that. Then we'll make the arrangements immediately. But I do have to say one thing. Your friend was contracted by Russell to kill me, correct? Eric, you must understand that his life complicates my work. We don't have time for elaborate procedures on him, but we must ensure nothing is leaked to the public about how we conduct ourselves at work. You shouldn't offer your patronage to deceivers.
can move. Well, we can't just stand here. Go! Follow them. I'll do the rest. Why? Check, little one. Little one? Oh, how creative. Well, supposing you probably brought that thing from elsewhere, just know that the man you're dealing with will be the one judging your execution. He'll lack a great deal of control. That won't be happening. We need your help. I need you to communicate into the base that we need some GC weapons out here. Me? You need my help? Quickly! The situation. We don't have much time left. No, no, you are clearly not in control of this situation, Kessler. We need to let the military in on this right now. No! We are not calling them. I'm in charge! I don't think you are. With the way you've been handling a few things. Maybe he was right all along. 
Who? Who was right all along? While chaos flows around the world, all you can do is watch. Breaking silence was the hardest part. Mercy just persisted in coinciding with our nature to survive. But not anymore. People will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die as the imprisonment of torment arises. Righteous men like you fall because of how big a throne your leader gloats upon. Anyone that 
destined for captivity goes into captivity. Anyone destined to be slain by the sword shall be slain by the sword. We're always doomed. Darkness has just played your world too long. I need your help to get Godzilla over to that other creature to stop it. Oh, you want my help again? I do. Because this isn't about us anymore. That? That's the plague Russ has been warning me about for years. Well, clearly you've done Russ's dirty work in releasing him. Bruce, the other monsters you have released can take care of the situation. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that's not gonna be enough. I think we're gonna need the King of the Monsters on this one. Alright, Bruce. What's your game plan? Because we would need wheels and radiation to maneuver us out of here. Oh, come on. At this point, this is just overly convenient. Uh, uh, Alright. We would die if we took that car. Radiation would just eat us out like termites. Well, you got one rad suit. What? Wh wh why are you giving this to me? Just put it on. We gotta go. What? The radiation from that thing is too strong. It, it, it would kill you. Buddy, these termites have eaten me out for years. Just put on the suit. Right.
around. I've killed a lot of people. You're not the only one who's interfered. So you're a murderer? Huh. I just do my job. It's not murder. Do you really want me to point out the obvious? You've killed a lot of people. And I'm about to be in that bunch. But you're gonna go after those two men. You're gonna hunt and murder those two men because you're afraid. I'm gonna go after those two men because they interfered. Oh, they did more than interfere, didn't they? You should admit the position you're in. You can save a bit of authority doing so. Shut up. thought you were in charge this whole time? <laughs> I, I guess the arrogance and you came in handy to contain Godzilla for us. Look at you. Couldn't even do that. Because you betrayed me. Did it ever since you shot that thing into the sky. The hell is it anyways? Mm. Ghidorah, yes. When our Ghidorah terraforms this planet for us. All it'll have to do is abolish the one who grips the apex throne protecting this world. Godzilla never protected this world. He killed millions. And yet genocide for my race wasn't enough to suit you. No. No, 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 no. You needed more. And look where that got you. I'm still in control. Well, Kessler, the nature of this conversation tells me that I'm the one with the gun. The one pulling the trigger. You interfered. Now your race will pay the price. Really? Well, your display of defiance tells me I'm a- Eric?
Ja. the aliens. I mean, think about it. We're the only ones who cause harm to this planet. I mean, I've, I've seen all these people die throughout my life. And I didn't. I only suffered. Suffering is what we few are good at, unfortunately. God, this feels like the end. This whole time, I've hated Godzilla. But... I realize I've... I just hated myself. You've changed. Yeah, well, things do change. And you can't escape it. I couldn't escape it. I now know what I have to do, Bruce. this for the last one Aaron Hey Eric whoa whoa Eric
and not here alone. Sound. Where are we? Just just calm down. This is my shack up near Red Lodge, Montana. We outran Godzilla last night. Luckily. Oh, right. You said you were gonna use this one for the last one, huh? Thanks, but no thanks. Just just leave it over there for now. Alright. Hey, come on, you gotta see this. That hum. It's been coming from this? It, can the monsters hear it? Well, if we've been hearing this since the lab, wavelength of this thing can reach far. Far as in... Every monster we've released is probably on their way. Then what the hell are we still doing here? The truck broke down a mile back. Eric, we did our work. We ran out of time. So, might as well just fight until the end, huh? No, no. I'm not putting you in that shit show, alright? You're leaving right now. You did your duty, we're done. You need to get back. To what? Back to what? Look, I know that voice inside of you still believes you could avenge Rachel, but she's proud of what you've done. Come on, she really is. Yeah. James, Rachel, Russ, all those people trampled in the wake of us releasing those, those things. It was the cost to get us here. Here's what we'll find out if that cost was worthwhile.
to you. Dr. Kessler, is it okay if I hang up my hat? Well, this is your residence, correct? Yes. Well, it's your house, your rules. No need for permission. Make yourself comfortable. Now, I imagine you were familiar with the job I was asked to carry out to the laboratory, correct? Y yes. Your, your job is to contain giant monsters. A uh, slight correction to that was. Uh, it was my job. Recently, there's been quite a few intrusions in my line of work. Now, Bruce, this job I've abandoned has put quite the pressure on my shoulders. And this rugged coat has only added to that pressure. So if I may, could I hang up my coat alongside your hat? Of course. Thank you. Oh, I realize. How disrespectful of me to not fix you up some breakfast. How does corn cereal sound? Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. I just had a scoop of blueberry denim out there, but thank you. You know what I've always found fascinating? It's how imbalanced Godzilla's relationship is with man. <laughs> well, it's a monster created by the weapons to end geopolitical nightmares. It rampages through the city and creates people like you. Simple and hateful. But... Godzilla has had his uses. A useful guard dog of Earth against sinister invaders. Godzilla is truly a power that could be viewed so different from your perspective, whether it's from beneath his foot or from watching it on land afar. A power like that with Ainsi is truly chaotic in all sense of the world, but I do inquire. Do you know how it felt to have the most powerful force on the planet under my control? Enlighten us. It was incredible. <laughs> now I've become death. The destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Oppenheimer is turning in his grave right now. <laughs> uh. You know, that corn seal is becoming more tempting after rethinking it. I think we can all do with a bowl of brain food, so actually, yes, I would like some. But, but no, 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 I need to get up. I can certainly bring it down for us. Uh, actually, you know your kitchen better than me. My mistake. Uh, could you fetch us some bowls for us? The bowls, Bruce? Right. I don't believe it'll do much. I get it. Get it. Your road has led you to this. And how about after? Hmm? These things are trashing the planet, and then what do you got left to manage after that? 
What do I got left? What do you got left? Couple of hours of what? Choking for a gasp of air? Losing grip on reality every second into drowsy night until one night you don't even realise you're gone. <coughs> See? Clearly I need to put you out of your bloody misery. Should have done the same with that monster. Sometimes we're looking at the wrong monster. Wait! Come on. Both of them at the same time? I don't know. Get creative. Can't even be the one pulling the trigger, huh? Wanna be the first time, Eric? Don't take it personally. You aren't in control. You can't even stir it back on track. We freed Godzilla because this shit is beyond you! And what? Hold it! I want you to repeat every goddamn word you just said. This is bigger than you and me. Isn't it? Those freaks backstabbed you. The devil is on its way. And I think it should be in God's hands now. Just once this is all over, you can snatch him up again. And then kill me. You fucking hypocrite. You come to me, preaching that Godzilla had to be taken care of? And now what? Are you telling me that the son of a bitch we shot dead changed your mind? Russ. He was right. That's all he was. He didn't have to pay for that like that. That bastard had to pay for it like his interfering cunt of a son. And so will you. Get away from the windows.
Kiss! Clear, clear, just kill him!
okay, kid, is this the grace? No. I want you to stay in the car, right? Wait. <laughs> Come on. Well, what? It's just a graze. Just a graze. Just a graze? Just a graze. Oh, I'll show you a graze. <laughs> oh, I got you that time. <laughs> Every time this thing goes off, more of them will keep dying. Here, place these around the perimeter. Uh, uh, well, I guess this is it, isn't it? <laughs> Oh yeah? Shall we put the sarcasm to rest? Yeah, yeah. Good. Got it, man. Just, no, only if you're the one tucking me in, though. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to play catcher? Yeah, and here's the pitch. <clears throat> <clears throat>
That kid with you? He's gonna die. I know. Nuclear fallout is the destiny of all who face these behemoths. You more than anyone knows this. What I know is that you let yourself go. That killed all of it. I get what you were trying to do with Godzilla. There was a time I believed that. No. I had no right to judge him. Judgment destroyed me. It destroyed all of us. His blue lights of oblivion were imperative. All of our missteps were imperative in defeating this evil. I am a murderer, and I interfered with the true path of providence. <clears throat> now, I have to pay the price. We all pay the price. Kessler didn't know Godzilla. Neither did I. Until today. Daddy and Godzilla shredded this three-headed son of a bitch. <laughs>
couple of abominations. No, no, don't don't say that now. Yeah. You're a good friend, Bruce. Wow. I'm struck. I think the same. <laughs> yeah, can you be any more sarcastic? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be from Godzilla. My boy is waiting for me.
Beyond just the words on screen, I just want you to know how much you mean to me. In the future, if I ever feel like giving up or feel down on film, I leave this video message here to know that I at least got this and I'm proud of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I got a lot more in store and if I ask one thing is that you hang around for the journey because I got a lot more stuff in store. Be open to those ideas. I at least ask of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Kaiju's Little 621. Signing out.